vision for JGLS since the beginning has been twofold. The first one is to create a transformative space for legal education along with creative pedagogy that produces critical thought. And the second one has been research excellence. We have tried to, in the past few years, create a collegial community of students and scholars that engage in critical inquiry and also engage in the process of knowledge production while remaining attentive to the politics of knowledge production. We've had many, many milestones. The first one is research. The second one is clinical legal education. In terms of research, I think we are one of the very few universities which started with, with a vision of research excellence. We set up an office of white scene of research that was going to focus specifically on faculty research. The second milestone I'd like to talk about is the clinical legal education. We started the clinical legal education at Jindal Global Law School in 2009 itself. Professor Pandey, one of our inaugural faculty members, started the Rural Governance Clinic. And since then, we've had very deep engagement with clinical legal education. The vision of Business School is to be globally acclaimed and developing transformative ideas and people. We aim to do this by creating impactful contributions through research, giving a value-based learning to all our students, promoting a global outlook and creating future-ready professionals. Today, in today's time, uh, JGBS has, is producing world-class research. We are surpassing all the IMs. Our researchers, our faculty members are producing A-star, uh, A uh, publications. JGBS is also providing world-class management education by giving courses which are skill-based, which develop technological agility, and also expands the worldview of the students by focusing on different disciplines besides management, like philosophy, sociology, communications, and such courses. The basic vision of Jindal School of International Affairs is to cultivate basic understanding about international relations, about diplomatic practices in the young minds from around the world, and especially towards the young minds of India. Since inception in 2011, the school has grown from one particular program to six programs now. We have grown from less than 50 students to more than 700 today. We have also, we are the only ones actually, we take pride in mentioning the same, that we have 16 research centers belonging to various geographical locations around the world. But I have also seen the way we have changed towards our pedagogy, towards our teaching curriculum, towards a more practical orientation towards the basic knowledge about international relations. This school is very unique in the whole of India because we had to reinvent what public policy is for the whole world and invent and create an entirely new discipline called public policy in India. We looked at various schools around the world and then soon realized that our school has to be different because the realities of India is diverse and complex. We cannot simply copy from another country and create a public policy school. So that was the vision to create school which will train students in public policy, make them ready for public life, but at the same time engage with government and other public institutions for policy interventions in giving them advice, input, and at the same time training the career bureaucrats, both at the central and the state level. What we found is that public policy as a concept and as a master's degree program soon started sprouting elsewhere in India. And everybody, there's not a single exception. Whoever wanted and offered MA in public policy in India basically took our program as a template. So we provided a base for a new discipline. Apart from that, we also, in few years from 2012, we started a BA in economics honors program. That again was very different and unique than anywhere else in India, because we were the first school to introduce game theory and various other advanced training methods in mathematics. Uh, we at JSLH uh, aim to create a world-class liberal arts education where we want young adults to be uh, handling complex situations from 
uh, multiple perspectives. So the training at JSLH is completely interdisciplinary where students will be able to focus on a problem and take solutions thinking from multiple perspectives. The key strengths of a JSLH education are uh, community outreach where we believe in global engagement and seeking the change that we want to look in the society, mandatory uh, internships for students, uh, industry alignment and also uh, J, uh, academia and industry collaborations between JSLH and the industry. One of the major criticisms of communications in India is that it has always been tailored towards very specific professions. But communications today is a much more interdisciplinary and a much more evolving profession than that. And we need a school that stays up to date and abreast with these traditions of storytelling as well as with the modern changes of technology as well as other variants which are coming in globally. That has always been the vision of JSJC, to bring together and meld seamlessly the ancient traditions that are still so valuable with the modern path-breaking technological developments. One of the biggest milestones in the journey of JSJC was of course the fact that at its inception we had invaluable leadership from Dean Tom Goldstein, our founding dean, who had previously worked with Columbia and Berkeley as their dean. JSAA um, started with a very uh, simple vision, right? To become a school which would shift the way we talk, we build, we analyze, and we study, we disseminate information about the built environment. The first ideal is really to be a place where students um, can chart their own program of study, right? So pretty much students who come into JSAA design their own curriculum. Jindal School of Banking and Finance started its uh, school in 2018 with one program in BCom Honors. We wanted it to be very different than the traditional BCom Honors program, so we incorporated a lot of different areas surrounding uh, law, technology, sustainability, etc. But since then, we have come a long way. We, have, we now have uh, five, or six, five programs at the graduate level, and then the sixth program is a PhD doctoral program. So we have students from across these disciplines. So we have come a long way as it relates to the number of programs, the kinds of students that we graduate, and the kind of placements that we provide for them, both in terms of consulting, fintech companies, the traditional investment banking companies, as well as in terms of retail banks. And most of our students have gone abroad uh, to Singapore, Australia, uh, US, UK, et cetera, and Canada to for furthering their uh, interest and career in finance and banking. Jindal School of Environment and Sustainability, in short, we call it JCS aims to equip the student with state-of-art interdisciplinary skill set required to solve complex problems in the field of environment and sustainability, both in the present and in the future. So with that in mind, we started this school in 2020 where, where we make our BA student learn science skills, which is required to understand how, for example, how pollution is impacting human health. In same way, we also teach our BSc student that how they can interpret policies, law, and different kind of other humanitarian uh, grounds such as environmental ethics. This makes them understand that uh, how to implement their scientific ideas along with the policy that is evolving very fast in our nation and across the globe. So I can happily say that this is uh, we have done a remarkable change in the landscape of ac academia and pedagogy uh, in the field of environment and sustainability. A JSPC envisions to actually create a state-of-the-art school uh, particularly specializing students in academic and professionalism in psychology. We aspire to create professional leadership among our students, uh, thereby helping them become social leaders, we want to empower them with uh, not only hands-on experiences, but also with the theoretical and research knowledge. We are empowering our students to not only be critical thinkers in the field of psychology, we are also encouraging different disciplines of psychology in India 
uh, we are one of the few schools which are providing a lot of internship experiences, hands-on learning and uh, research experiences to our students. So therefore, I think we are doing something which is going to contribute towards cre uh, creating critical thinkers in the field of psychology, but also social leadership in the field of psychology and mental health. Our school aims to be an interdisciplinary space of learning where through inventive pedagogy and intensive research methodologies, we aim for our students to learn more about the spaces that they live in and the people that they engage with. Uh, we hope to create a space where learning and understanding English is not just about reading a text and understanding it, but also understanding the cultures, the people, the spaces that we inhabit, and also trying to understand that the world is beyond the book and there is a need to engage with it as interdisciplinarily as possible. The strength of Jindal School of Languages and Literature lies in introducing a curriculum that covers all aspects of the world, its cultures, its people, its spaces. Our three-year undergraduate program, which we'll be successfully completing soon, and our four-year undergraduate program pays a lot of attention to different kinds of specializations, whether it is gender and sexuality, or professional communication, or the world of translation that we inhabit in so many ways. So one of the key milestones that Jindal School of Languages and Literature has achieved through its BA Honours English program is the introduction of multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary cross-selectives, which are very popular amongst all students of uh, OP Jindal Global University. We're also very soon launching a center for translation, print and publishing studies, wherein we'll be able to engage with translators and researchers and creative writers from across the world.